Welcome back. Before we take a look at the day's business news, let's take a look at the stock indices across the GCC. Gulf Tainer, the port and management and logistics company headquartered in Sharjah today, announced that it has acquired a 51% stake in Saudi Arabia's Gulf Stevedoring contracting company, allowing it to assume the full management of the three Saudi terminals located in Jeddah and Jebel. The acquisition makes Gulf Tainer the largest port operator in the Middle East with regard to the number of terminals operated in the region, with the company managing 40% of all the major container terminal facilities in the Middle East and 45% of all major port capacity outside of the Strait of Hormuz. Both Jeddah and Jebel are key growth areas in the country with strong positive economic forecasts following massive government investments in infrastructure. Jebel in particular is seen as critical to economic development within the kingdom and the government has recently invested 800 million Saudi rials in its two facilities to increase its capacity and cope with the growing flow of cargo. In recent years, the government has also confirmed investments in excess of 480 billion Saudi rials in energy and infrastructure projects in the surrounding region, which in turn is expected to spur massively increasing terminal activity. I think uh, what, what Gulf Tainer has to offer is uh, everything that it's learned over its 36 years of experience of operating the number one terminal in the world with regards to productivity. Uh, so we're going to be taking a lot of uh, our systems, our ideas, our work ethos into uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and increasing the productivity of the terminals that are there, the terminals that we are taking over as management control. When asked about the recovery of the sector in the Middle East after the recent slowdown of previous years, Peter Richards, the group managing director of Gulf Tainer, stated that he believed that volume would return to pre-GFC levels within the next five years. Well, I think what we've seen is, uh, is a rather slow return to normality. Obviously, after the, uh, the, the crash in 2009, uh, the Middle East, like everywhere else in the world, was affected. Uh, but the Middle East, maybe not so much, because there was uh, still the funds and the desire to continue to develop, whereas uh, other areas in the world were restricted on that. Um, so I, I think that although we've not seen a quick return to the, the average 8% growth ground that we were used to seeing, I think that uh, over the next five years we'll see a return to those levels. First Gulf Bank has signed an agreement to acquire Dubai First from Dubai Financial Group for 601 million dirhams in cash. The announcement was made to the ADX today and will see FGB take over the consumer financial services business that was established in 2007 and specializes in liability and credit card products. Dubai First has a credit card market share of 4.5% and operates out of its Dubai headquarters with branches and sales offices in Abu Dhabi and Sharjah. According to the statement, the acquisition complements FGB's strategy of offering more value to an expanding UAE customer base, with Andre Sayer, the CEO of FGB, saying that they would nurture the Dubai First brand and its portfolio whilst utilising the synergies to grow the business and provide excellent consumer advice, products, opportunities and benefits. First Gulf Bank currently holds the best bank in the UAE title from both Euromoney and the Banker Middle East, as well as voted EMEA Finance's best local bank. It is one of the largest full-service banks in the country with a portfolio in its consumer business alone of over 40 billion dirhams. The latest audited accounts for Dubai First show aggregate gross assets that amounted to approximately 700 million dirhams. And the UAE has been ranked as the fifth strongest emerging market in an index of global retail investment, but the experts who compiled the list warned the Emirates' ranking could slip in future years due to oversaturation in the market. 
The 13th edition of the Global Retail Development Index, compiled by consultants A.T. Kearney, had four GCC countries ranked among the top 20. The UAE was ranked 5th, followed by Kuwait on 9th, Saudi Arabia 16th and Oman on 17th. Globally, Brazil was the most attractive retail emerging market for the third year in a row, followed by Chile, Uruguay and China. While the UAE moved up two places from 7th to 5th, the partner and head of consumer industry and retail practice at AT Kearney Middle East, Dr. Martin Fabel, was quoted as saying that there was risk of it slipping down the rankings in later years due to the oversaturation of the market. New malls are being planned across Dubai in particular, with extensions underway to Dubai Mall, Ibn Battuta Mall and Dragon Mart, and new malls planned for JBR's The Walk and Palm Jumeirah, and Mohammed bin Rashid City set to build the Mall of the World, which will be the largest retail space when complete. Despite these concerns, the report said demand continues to grow in Dubai. With plenty of European concepts already in place, demand is now shifting to American concepts and food and beverage. The report also said the fundamentals in Saudi Arabia remain strong, with retail sales expected to increase by 11% in 2013.